Out of all the species that we have in West Virginia that are spring ephemerals or, you know, short-lived plants, the one that stands out the most to most people that live in the Appalachian Mountains are trilliums. We're here in the Monongahela National Forest and what we have before us are um, trilliums, more specifically the Trillium grandifolium. Here in West Virginia, we have six species of trillium. Trilliums are, you know, super easy to identify. They have these three leaves that come out um, in a fan, and then the flower sits right in the middle. We have three separate leaves that are axile, so across from each other, or we could say world. We have three petals and three sepals. We have this parallel veining. As the more these flowers age, the pinker they become. Almost a, um, you know, a flamingo pink near their last few days of life. This is Trillium erectum and with this burgundy collar. Its pollinators are flies. And um, if we go back to the common name of um, uh, stinking Benjamin, this actually smells absolutely rancid. It uses that to attract flies and the flies pollinate these flowers. Uh, they're actually quite long-lived. They'll stay in the ground for upwards of uh, 25 years. Some historic uses have been like stomach ailments. They help cure diarrhea. Uh, yeah, rhizomes were actually dried and uh, inhaled for um, like asthma, problems of the lungs. This being a spring ephemeral, it's a very short-lived plant. Um, and doesn't like a lot of um, touching. So that being said, um, they're beautiful flowers and they seem quite abundant, but they take a very long time to grow, and, you know, for the plant family. Um, so if you wanted to collect some for, you know, to put in your garden beds at home, I wouldn't highly advise it. Um, once you pick these, and say you just plopped off the top of this flower here, you're actually killing the entire plant. Uh, so it's best left alone. If you absolutely have to collect one of these, they'll get a red berry on the top with about six seeds in total um, that you can harvest and take home for your use. But it's best just to leave these as they are for everyone else. Definitely one of the showiest spring ephemerals in this state. And we're very fortunate to have the abundance of the plants that we see currently. Something to be enjoyed by everyone, whether you're three years old, 30 years old, or 300. You can all sit back and appreciate the delicate beauty of this. Mm -hmm.